Library and the preview of Tight Modern. I um, took part a few years ago when it um, was on show at Callum House. Um, yeah, it was helpful for it to get shown out in the wider world. I've got agoraphobia and I use my art as sort of therapy to push myself to get out. So I live in Portsmouth and to get to Chichester was a big um, step for me to go and see it when it was on show there. I'm involved in Type Modern because we are going to be one of the venues on the tour, um, so I'm really excited to be involved in this project for the first time. Aspects is a sort of very much a mainstream gallery, a very mainstream audience, and I think that artists that are facing difficulties in their lives need to have an opportunity to present their work in a professional context in a mainstream space, and that's why we're involved. Yeah, well, I've had a solo exhibition now, and I wouldn't have had the confidence to do that before doing the course on how to do an exhibition and picking up the skills. I think it's good how it kind of gives people confidence. A couple of months ago, I was involved in an exhibition in the Photo Fringe, and I don't think that would have happened without my um, winning the third prize in the Tight Mob. It was wonderful to um, have that positive response. I entered Tight Modern uh, about six years ago, in fact. And I was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2005, and since then I've um, created this photographic project which involved me being photographed by different photographers. I think it's wonderful that um, you've got um, an organisation like Creative Future that are giving the people the chance to, to aim for something. I think it's very important. I think overall it's... Uh, Excellent. They were all interesting, but some of them were extremely good, I thought. Basically, I uh, had a bit of a tough year, um, spent three months in hospital due to mental illness. Ended up coming to the workshop here at the Jubilee Library and actually made the piece here. Amazing. Like, I just thought it was a brilliant opportunity to be a part of it. To do something off the back of something, a situation that wasn't so great, really good. Yeah. There's some real standout, spectacular pieces and it's really brilliant to see a broad range of work in diverse media um, and with very different range of subject matters. There's, there's some really funny works, um, works which are a bit cheeky, um, which I'm not sure will get through to the exhibition but I hope so because I think we can all do a bit of cheeky in our life. A, a lot of work that makes you think, which isn't overtly about issues that people are facing but just slightly conveys you know that there's um that there's more to life and um sometimes it's quite tough i got such a surprise when i got the email i looked in there and thinking how did mine get you chosen and it's such a small space yet there's so much in there and i love the digital art it's absolutely fantastic i really loved it great future have been really really good to all of us and, and taught us not to be so self doubting have a bit of confidence and, and get out there and push ourselves. Thanks for it.